Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new tutorial by 3D Articore and this time uh, we are going to remake a tutorial that's already been post, uh, posted um, on our platform, right? And basically uh, the decision for remaking this tutorial uh, was mainly because this is uh, the, the original tutorial was uh, missing uh, voice instruction and also beside this important uh, you know uh, thing the voice it's also a little bit edited uh, with, with you know things on the process in that uh, tutorial was pre-made and sometimes you know uh, things you know can get wrong and one minor thing especially in this tutorial can be very uh, crucial in order to uh, really get the same result so the reason that I'm doing this is uh, obviously uh, from the right reasons and also I been asked the same person that uh, originally posted that tutorial uh, permission to make this tutorial so any of you who already watch this tutorial or have anything uh, you know um, to say about this, uh, well, try the comments. And if you're blocked after this, then what can I say? Don't don't say I, I didn't war warn you. Okay, so um, let's start. And one one more thing. Um, mo in most my tutorials, I'm trying to stay precise, and also, um, you know. Things could wrong, could be could uh, get wrong or not correctly as I want, and therefore I want you to please uh, try and uh, just follow step by step and do exactly what I do because this is super crucial. Okay, so one more second, I will have to pause. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I back and let's continue with this. Mm. By the way, I lighted a cigarette, so sorry about this. So what we are going to do right now is start a new scene, and we have some preparation to do. So, uh, not as usual, we are going to set a new uh, values to the grid. So the grid right now is not as it sh should be on your case, unless you mo uh, configure it. So what you do, you go over display, grid, and click on this box here. And please do copy those values. 20 for the length and width, grid lines every 4 units, and subdivision 5, and blah blah blah, apply and close, okay? Then go over window, setting preferences, and preferences. Now, if you see this cube here, then everything is alright. If you don't see this, please go over edit, reset default settings, and then do check... Uh, please do check again the same grid options that I showed you and then go over display and sorry settings and here make sure up axis is Y of course centimeters centimeters degrees film 24 FPS and positional this is what important here which I'm not sure why it's important but do this okay and save this okay now about the view cube I know that you can turn this off and on but sometimes it just don't work so if it doesn't work then go over and do restore default settings okay and if you did restore this uh, default settings then again go and check the grid to see that everything is as it should be set okay now for the usual stuff shading smooth wireframes and then go over create polygon primitives and make sure that the interactive creation is, un is, uh, is unchecked with V as down here like this option okay you see we have a V sign here so if you want to get rid of the V that uh, belongs to the interactive creation you just click on the interactive creation and it will be off then this will allow you to come over the polygon tab and click on any of those shapes here and it will instantly drop on top of your grid okay basically in the middle of the grid halfway down halfway up 
So, uh, except plain that it will be flat. But let's continue. Uh, the first thing is using the cube. We are going to switch to top view. So just press on the cube and make sure you click on top and you see the view like that and zoom in. So you can see the grid like that. Go over create CV curve tool and then turn on this magnet snap to grid. Click on it so you see it has a square and then click here once, twice, try to be precise and at least four dots and then hit the answer. You, I think you must have four dots, I'm not sure but try, okay? Um, if you hit the enter and you see green line that means that everything is okay and we do have one problem that could be your case let's say for instance that this dot I didn't place it correctly like there okay well it doesn't it shouldn't happen because you have the snap to grid so never mind L leave this alone um, from here hit the spacebar sorry um, just rotate your camera like that go over uh, surfaces menu here and then edit curve and where it says rebuild curve click on this option box and then you will see this okay so let's reset the settings for it and then we will go and click on zero to spans here type in 50 degree one linear and make sure the keep orig original is unchecked okay and click apply now this is while the curve is selected by the way okay so now when you close this if you right click on your uh, curve and choose control vertices you will have 50 dots just like that okay well basically we have 52 or 53 but uh, we should have something like that so uh, now, what you do, you switch to the four view by clicking here. Now you can also press the space bar and it will switch to four view. Now put your mouse cursor over the side view and hit the space bar again to expand this window and zoom out so you can see all the line like that. Okay? Then grab the lasso tool and start drawing a slalom line exactly from this point where I just been just started okay so I will do this once again from here between those two first you draw a line like that and then start to do slow maneuvers like that and when you feel you are a little bit tired or you don't have enough space for your mouse to slide on just come to one of these okay this turn like that and release and then, you know, relax your hand or something, hold on the shift, and continue from here. Now you must uh, hold the shift down so it will add to selection, okay? So make sure you do this. Now you don't have to be precisely on your, uh, well, you do have to be precisely with your slalom, but, you know, it's not a uh, matter if it's, bigger slalom or tinier slalom as long that it still uh, do the same maneuver okay so then release and now we have uh, the first not selected the second is selected the third is not selected and so on okay so what you do you switch to move tool you make sure that the grid option snap grid option is still turned on and you pull this up arrow to here and then with little uh, slide down, slide it just to the first grid line above this thick grid line, okay? So you will have something like that, okay? You need to have a precisely uh, all the dots in between the others uh, on top, so you have this uh, sharp points and it looks like triangles. Press F8 to bring it back to object mode and it should look like this. Now what you do you go over again surfaces menu here go over edit curves, rebuild curve and click this option box same box 
but this time you just switch from one linear degree to three cubic and click apply. This will make your curve look a little bit more like wave, okay, than triangles. Now press spacebar or click here to switch to perspective view and then look at this like that and we have our wave just above the grid okay and this is very important right now what I want you to do is control D to duplicate this and with this snap to grid option still turned on you pull this once to the side and then bring it back over here so we have one grid line in between those two um, curves okay so we have blank grid line that left that we leave for another um, another series of curves that we will uh, create later on okay so we have this one and this one and then you can just simply press sh uh, stop this snap grid and shift D you must do this I think turn off the snap to grid and then shift D to duplicate and transform to the same path the same path that you uh, moved this uh, earlier copy okay shift D until here so now we, we will leave this one blank also and what I want you to do from here is come back to this one and control D to duplicate it hold down the X or turn on this feature the snap to grid again pull this here and then back here in between those two first okay now we want to flip this line on the back so you first go over modify center pivot and this is very important you must do this okay otherwise when we flip this it won't be the same uh, height so when the pivot is in the middle of the curve basically it's the, it's the middle of the height also of this curve so now you switch to the channel box here click on this once or twice so you see this and then rotate on the X 100, 180 degrees press enter and it will flip this that way so I will just zoom in so you can see what I've done now the start point is for this curve is pointing up but this one is pointing down okay so now that we've done this we are going to copy this in between all of those okay control D to duplicate this hold down the X or just turn on the snap to grid bring this ear and then back ear turn this off and shift D to duplicate it along in between all of those okay also the last one should be here now that you've done this you grab all of them and control D to duplicate this and move all these bunch far away over here just so you can see them that in this side and then I want this green one or the first one from here to be on this grid line okay so it's the left from the center like that now if I will try to use right now the snap to grid option it will merge all of them together into one group at the same point and I don't know what's the reason for this it's probably a bug but at the original um, you know tutorial that I watched uh, it didn't happen so I assume that this is a, a bug so don't try to group them all I want you to do is go over for view go over the front view and come here zoom a lot like that and then try to manually move them to position that way okay now the right way to do to know if you're really on the grid is to just zoom in as much as you can and if you see it's you see it's a little bit to the left but it's not really a big issue but you can still uh, you know uh, try and fix this so like that okay so now if I will zoom in you see it's precisely on this line and I can do even better I think but never mind let's leave this like that and now that we have this in place 
and you need to pay attention for something you have extra curve that please keep the keep this curve there okay now the next thing is to grab all of them click on this outliner and you will see that you don't have any groups you just have the curves okay no group inside so this is what I was trying to avoid I don't want to have a group right now until now now I want you to group them you go over general and click on this icon here hover your mouse on top of it and it will tell you this is group okay so click on this it will group them and then control D to duplicate it okay right away switch to rotation tool and please you see this one is here so I want to rotate these uh, copies while they are grouped by the way otherwise it won't work so you need to just do this that way bring them 90 degrees so they will create some kind of a net so now if I will zoom in you will see that um, all those high points are meeting each other for the uh, for both of those groups okay and also at the lower points they are meeting each other okay you see here down there the, up here so you understand right now what you do we want this group that we uh, just rotate to move it so how we we move it we have these option to first look at those two okay and then come here that way and switch to move tool and bring this and I'm gonna push you see this lower angle okay until it will meet this grid line this gray line or you can watch here this one is on top of the thick center grid line okay so right now they are precisely where they should the only problem we have is that here on the values you see if I will move this it's changing so I'm trying to put this at the correct position and just to make it precisely you type in point 8 and hit the enter and then it will sit precisely on top of each other that way so now if you zoom in we just made the other effect okay right now they are not meeting uh, each other at the higher points at the lower points okay so we have space in between them all the way okay okay so now that we've done this and we can come oh uh, no we have a problem sorry I'm gonna do this backwards that way and move them here so here minus Oh. let's type in zero here let's see what's going on here no okay okay something is wrong I'm gonna move these okay let's move these <laughs> okay so we have these two and these should go backwards that way okay so basically we're pushing the one that's been extra back to not be an extra and this one to be extra okay so I'm moving it just in place so it will be on top of the grid and here it's minus 0.7 788 so 0 minus 0 0.8 okay just like that and hit the enter and now if I'm if I'm not wrong again let's check this let's check here okay no meeting points everything is okay so we have those two uh, <clears throat> extra so again I know it's a little bit confusing all of this but try to manage this okay let's grab these two and delete them then come over here and grab from the outliner click on this to open the outliner grab these two groups 
come over the <coughs> come over the general tab and now we are going to ungroup them okay with this icon click on it this it says ungroup click on it and it will ungroup all of them and then click group once again so instead of two groups we now have one group of all of these now what you do you go over modify and center the pivot for this and then you go over surfaces menu here choose surfaces sorry edit curves and attached curves alright so what happened is that uh, many of these curves has been attached to each other right now and they are basically acting like one unit okay but for some reason I have some extra here that I'm not sure what they are doing there but they are basically belong to this group here okay so you can grab this group and just press delete and delete them so you will stay with these now what you do you go over polygons and create plane click on this it will instantly create a plane and this is what I talked about when I said remove the interactive creation if you removed it and click on this plane here it will create a plane here now also I want you to double check yourself and make sure that you don't have any distortion on your uh, lines okay on your curves uh, I once did it and I had one of those curves just going all the way like that like a banana I don't know so make sure it's not happening to you while banana are okay but this is not a Minions movie so uh, with this plane um, let's grab uh, let's open the attribute editor no sorry first the channel box so through the channel box click and hold here and slide your mouse down to mark three of them and then release and type in 40 and hit the enter key this will instantly change all of them okay to 40 if you didn't manage to do this practice on it if you still don't manage do this one by one okay 40 40 40 this will cover all this grid area okay press 5 to get shader on it so you see this plane and then open the attribute editor for it from here switch to this polyplane and here type in 50 on top of 50 okay and now we have a grid that is precisely underneath our curves okay so we have for each curve we have a grid grid um, edge or edge on top of our plane so now <clears throat> what you do you grab the curve you choose modify center the pivot for it okay the curve uh, this kind of group by the way by now we don't have any groups okay so pay attention for it and uh, because we deleted the group okay so we have this which represent all of them and what you do you turn on the magnet and then switch to four view it's better and the side view and now we want this to be halfway down the, below the grid and halfway above the grid so it's precisely on the middle here you see so now if I will look at this from the side from the perspective view you can see the plane is basically mm, precisely in the in between those two uh, layers of uh, curves okay it's between them you see just like that now what you do you open the outliner again choose the curves first okay this is very important first shift choose the plane go over animation menu create the formers and choose warp 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 okay warping we are warping this so it will take a few seconds to Maya to calculate this and then you will have this extra hiding p plane one base feature here so what you do you click on the plane okay and this will instantly turn all of these curves into purple if by now uh, this is work for you so everything is okay okay if it they didn't turn onto 
purple, you did something wrong, okay? Now, wow, I need to take a breath and maybe a puff, okay? So, when you do this, you pick the plane, you go over, right away you go over Create Deformer and Sculpt Deformer, okay? Click on it and you see this sphere here switch to the scale tool and just make it bigger scale it through this middle axis here and you see it's stretching this net all the way like that and that's good but don't push it too much on the edge okay something like that it's more than enough this is even too much so something like that it's fine now you will see also the there are distortion on our plane and that's okay what you do from here uh, if you, you know noticed now you have a scalped uh, node here okay this is a locator you click on it and basically you switch to it you switch to move tool and push this first turn off the snap to grid option and just push this down and this is what will happen. So basically, the plane and the curves together have become to look like a half sphere, okay? Like that. Now, just to help you with this, I'm gonna open the channel box and I'm gonna show you how the values of this look like. So, while I'm grabbing this locator, I'm pushing it all, to, all the way to about 58 minus 58 okay this is where it should be and this is pretty much what we need and also when I was on the this node that I was enlarging this sphere the scale right now here it's about 18 okay it's 18 it's not about 18 it's 18 and try to make it like this okay don't do anything else because it's just not fitting this uh, portion uh, by the way, if you don't see this uh, locator, you can always scale it, so it will be easier for you to grab it like that, okay? And now, what you do, you come here to this curve, and, con oh no, first, sorry, first, when we push this to, this locator to 58 height, minus 58, Basically what happened here is that some of those, some area here in the middle has become very crowded. So we need to open this up. So what you need to do is click on this, double click on this scalp geometry tool. It's on the polygon shelf. Double click on it and it will pop out but here, okay, for, in my case it's just floating. What you do, you type in here 8, okay and switch to this uh, Gaussian brush and switch here to this relax brush and that's all you can close this now you choose the plane okay so everything again turns into purple and here is this is our brush so if you want to change the radius of the brush you hold down the B key and you hold it and left click mouse with dragging to right or left will scale this brush okay so we need the brush something like that like this size and then you switch to the top view to be precisely above it and we want to click and just do some rotation uh, rounded moves and relax this area you can zoom in and that's okay but try to be precisely with your circles, you see I'm doing here some circles but just with my eyes trying to relax all the areas that I look a little bit uh, weird, okay? Now don't do this too much, it can make your sphere, half sphere look like an egg, so try to be gentle with this. Uh, this is very uh, depends on your eyes, so try to do this the correct way. And when you finished, you switch to your selection tool, 
just look at this like that and that looks good now what you do you grab this curve group control D to duplicate this and then move it over here okay now grab all of these and just delete them or you can add them to a new layer and I this layer okay but right now these are not affected by those okay so these choose them from the outliner and here uh, depend on the uh, you know the axis that you move them I don't know maybe your camera is that way but I move them on the Z direction so I'm gonna type here hin 0 to bring them back to the grid just like that okay now what you do you go over uh, rendering menu and from the paint effect you just come here down here to curve utilities and click on attach brush to curve okay this is what will happen now if for some reason you did this option and then not everything is green this means that you didn't attach the curves <laughs> and it could be it could happen I, I'm, tell, I'm just telling you things that uh, I'm you know working on and trying to figuring them out and this is really uh, you know important you need to attach those curves all at once so you will have a one group like that so if you put this brush right now and you have all of them in black but only one in green one of those curves in green something wrong okay no, but you can also attach them in this point okay no harm will happen just undo the brush the paint effect brush undo that attach them go over uh, edit curves and attach curves and then come back and do this okay so from this point what you do all of them are green I'm clicking on the attribute editor and then I will see this stroke shape one here at the sample de density type in my uh, point 7 okay like that switch to the brush tab scroll up and the brush width change it to 0 0.150 okay don't worry about this now you need to pay attention for something we have we probably have a problem with uh, some of those uh, curves some of them could be look like a little bit uh, weird okay they are twisting not correctly or I don't know something will be messed up now this is really uh, because of the stretching the limits that you when you open this um, you know this sculptor at the beginning of this uh, you know sphere when we created the sphere so if you push the limits on your um, on your edges this could cause this problem so when you will come in you will see some of those curves twisted and overlapping each other now if this happened what you do you click here forward twist and try to scroll down and add some more tube sections this can uh, you know solve this problem and basically let's continue so I will uh, just uh, you know explain some more things so with these settings what you do you go over modify convert by the way it's selected so convert sorry convert mm, paint effect polygon options and here reset these settings click on tick on the quad outputs and here Poly limits type in one on uh, one million okay so when you do this when you're converting uh, paint effects to polygons uh, basically the poly limits what it tells Maya is to try and preserve the whole shape of this paint effect and make it poly mesh and you know that way also preserving the shape because if you do use less poly limit it can make halfway 
the job, okay? So we are trying to use one million, million or two million just to make sure, to be sure that uh, everything here is going to be included on the mesh shape. After this, click convert and wait. Okay, it took millisecond, but sometimes can take a little bit more. Now that you have this, what you do, you see this, okay, this group, br brush to mesh group. This is the poly mesh that's been converted from our other stuff here. So what you do, you come here and bring this up, okay, like that. You grab all those and delete them. And then you grab the brush and from the channel box here or just apply the snap tool and bring this back down here. Now right click on it and change the color just for a while to Lambert. So we have Lambert color and that way we can look at this that way switch to the fore view, switch to the side view, here press 5 so you can see the shader like that and this is what I wanted to talk about. You see here what's going on here? This is the awkward twist and this is basically I didn't pay attention for it and I'm really sorry but it's good that it's happened because now you know what I'm talking about and it could happen to you also. And now that I was watching that way, I don't see this, but it could be somewhere here. Let's just grab them and it will be easier to obtain. Here they are. No. Oh. Okay, super, super, super weird. Now they are not there. Okay, weird stuff happening. I don't know. Four view, side view again, move like that, and maybe it's just illusion of my my eyes. Never mind. Now what you do with this selected, you go over polygon tab, edit mesh, cut face tool, click on it, and now you will see a message. Click drag to cut. So what you do, you click on your mesh, which is this mesh, this is mesh, hello, click on it, somewhere here, okay, just a little bit above this flat area, somewhere here, click and drag and hold, by the way, hold. Now I want you to, to, to be aware of something, you see I'm rotating this and there is another line, you see this line here, yeah, you see this? So the extra line that right now is pointing to the left and right now pointing to the right, just so you will recognize it, I want you to make sure it's pointing straight down and the other uh, longer line will be straight 180 degrees that way. So everything below, everything that uh, goes in the direction of this little line there will be deleted, okay? click release and this is what will happen okay now I will go back to the same cut face tool click the option box if it doesn't happen it means that your delete cut face is not ticked so just make sure these are the settings close now let's get back to perspective view and I saw this problem there uh, by the way I've left a little bit bytes of faces here and there so I could make this cut a little bit just slightly higher but that's okay um, what you do you first go over edit delete by type history okay so now it will be easier to maneuver in the work area right click choose face we still have this weird twist not sure what what's the reason for this but there is a twist and it shouldn't be so just try to play before you creating the before you doing the converting to polygon mesh from the paint effect try to uh, switch turn on and turn off this twist uh, forward option in the brush so it will 
basically maybe fix this okay or try to play with this uh, two sliders of the twist options okay if you didn't understand or it's hard for you to follow just rewind this tutorial and watch it all over again but it could be happen it could happen to you and we are just trying to be uh, you know clear about this so I still have those and I'm gonna delete those this one and this one so basically we created a half grid sphere but if you looked over a microphone in most cases there is a dividing part between the uh, you know lower grid of um, the microphone and the higher grid so basically what you can do from here is assign material any chrome material my material X and choose the chrome material from the presets and duplicate this so control D to duplicate this rotate this like that maybe switch to the move tool ah, the switch the snap to grid is already turned on so that way you have a sphere but you can always bring this a little bit down and put something here in between you know kind of a spring a metal spring like that and this is pretty much it uh, by the way you can grab these first let's save this okay it's better to save uh, every now and then because things could happen microphone save okay so now that I, I save this we have a lot of poly here so if I want to smooth preview it by pressing 3 on my keyboard this is what I will get so click yes don't ask again and it will ask again don't worry now the first time it's happening that's cool right it's moved and it took about three seconds or two seconds but now if I will hold this and press three and hear the message again and I did say I don't want to um, don't want them to ask again this can take a while okay I don't know what the reason but you see I already have this spinning uh, colored wheel which means I need to wait a little bit and that's all so now everything is smooth here what you will probably want to do is create a polygon pipe pipe cylinder scale this change the thickness to something more like 250 maybe less 150 and scale this down like that and then scale this like that scale this more like that add more subdivision of course so it will be smoothed let's enlarge this scale this that way and let's change the radius you know, the thickness maybe to 120 yeah something maybe less 100 okay so now I can scale this a little bit down but you do want you do want to add you know insert edge loop here just a little bit there by the way the the poly pipe is not really on the middle the, the maybe the those things here but basically just scale it if you need more meat to work with see squeeze oops oops squeeze this down because this is very thick like that basically what I was doing uh, if I were you and want to create this I will not creating this edge loop here I will go with uh, deleting it so let me just it wasn't 
what I meant to do. I don't want to deal with this in this tutorial, but edge, grab this edge, control, right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split, then go over and create an offset edge loop. So I have two of them like that. See? And then you can right click, choose faces, delete all of these faces so we have only those upper faces bring this all the way down this snap to grid is just turning me nuts and then we can extrude this sorry let's extrude this switch to scale tool okay no let's just push this with the move tool so now we have this, what we have down here, those lines, those edges, same up here, you see? So this is how to do this. And then we can double click on these faces, double click, sorry, this face and double click this one, extrude this, switch to the scale tool, it's easier that way, and then bring it up like that and maybe a little bit more of like that so now you can add edge loops in order to maintain those sorry edge loops in order to maintain those edges so one here one there let's zoom Yeah, here and we obviously need some hinge side so one here one there one here no let's zoom in every time I'm doing this I'm doing this like I have a laser sight I don't know Okay, these, these, here, here. So basically, for each edge that we already add, we are adding two more supports in each side. Okay, so here is one for this, from this side, and here is one for this side. Here, and those two we don't need only for those these are not edges they are just there so now we have this and we can smooth preview this we can bring this up a little bit like so let's use the top view to look at this so yeah we need to center this that way all right and then let's grab this one and get it closer like that press F8 sorry press on the background and here you go you have this spherical kind of a uh, you know uh, I don't know there are there was motorcycles that running inside you know three of them I like this kind of thing there is also a movie about this, a good movie with a very good actor. If you've seen this, let me know. So this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, Maxim, thank you very much. Thank you, the viewers, for watching this. If you need any help, don't ask me. First, <laughs> go and try to rewatch this, okay? Uh, I really did my best to deliver you this tutorial with the easiest and lowest effort okay so you will uh, be managed to do this also but if you still have problems ah uh, that's okay just not notify me and let me know what the problem is okay please one more time uh, one more time one more thing uh, many people asking me to view their files I have my computers my computer and I don't like files from other places unless I chose to do download them I do not accept files I, don't, I ain't gonna examine your 
uh, files, your models. Um, I know you are doing your best to model. I know you need help sometimes, but um, my computer is very much important to me uh, than your models. Okay, so sorry for this. Uh, you know, for saying this, but this is true. So uh, that's pretty much it. And whoever um, asked me this. Um, probably knows that I'm talking uh, about him but just I wanna let you know that you are not the only one who asked this for me and this is the reason um, I'm preferring not to get any files from viewers and just spare me this issue thanks again for watching have a good day uh, by the way next time uh, I will probably deliver you uh, another tutorial just like this about the same uh, grill microphone but in other uh, you know other aspect like you will be able to create your own shape not just uh, a sphere shape any shape you would like and probably somehow we will, we will manage to do this but if you will you know succeed on doing this I'm almost sure you will succeed the other one so that's it really this is it bye